Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bright Ops, and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Where well, last time we got into, well, tunnels. Let's see, the greenhouse access has been barred from the other side. Right, the strange laboratory. Let's see, let's talk to you. A nervous looking guy in his late forties. He seems surprised to see you in his secret lab. Hi there, I'm Brightups. Uh, hi, I'm Rufus. How did you find this place? I was just ch just kind of poking around in the steam tunnels, exploring, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a popular pastime around here. The kids call it hacking. I guess I should have anticipated that when I set up the secret lab. Why do you have a secret lab? Was the department out of regular labs? I'm not actually supposed to be here at all. I used to teach here, but they let me go. Oh, what happened? Did they fire you for using the forbidden math? Not at all. Sit is the last place that would fire you for that. I was joking. They fired me because I didn't make tenure. I was too busy trying to find out what happened to my missing brother to publish any original research. Well, that hardly seems fair. It probably just as well. I don't think I was cut out of being a professor anyway. P department politics are maximally bogus, as the students would say. Are you, so you set up this hidden lab to continue your search for your brother? Yes, basically, though I'm taking a more roundabout route towards it now. What happened to your brother? He left home when I was 14 and headed north. Well, we called it west back then. He spearheaded the expedition that pushed the Transcontinental Railroad all the way to Fresco. Wow. Yeah, he was kind of famous for a while. I used to get postcards from him all the time, but then one day, poof, just vanished off the face of the earth. I talked to all his friends from back then, but nobody knows where he went. My only guess is he decided to keep heading north and hopped a ship. I couldn't get any passenger records dating that far back though, so that was pretty much as as far as leads. Huh, that's too bad. What are you working on now? Well, this is going to sound crazy, but you know, you have a saying here in SIT. Science that nobody understands is called magic, and science that only one person understands is called mad science. I see, so you're doing a little dabbling in the forbidden arts, eh? Oh no, I checked the rule book thoroughly and nothing specifically forbids what I'm doing. Haha, <laughs> I get you. So what's the plan? Uh, well, I mean, I've just met you and I hesitate to get someone else mixed up in this. Oh, I'm pretty mixed up already. In the last few days I've had to deal with fairies, time holes, shadow monsters, gross fishmen. You know about the fishmen? That's perfect, I can definitely use your help. I'm glad it wasn't the fairies you were interested in. I am curious, but some other time maybe. What I'm focused on now is predictive quantum telecommunications. I'm gonna need you to explain that to me. Well, there's this brand new field of physics called quantum mechanics. It's only a couple of years old, but if some of the theories pan out, it could be staggering. But the specific part that I'm interested in is that quantum particles appear to be able to communicate over long distances instantaneously. And I think that this might be an explanation for the magical concept of cla clairvoyance. Clair clairvoyance? You mean as in psychic stuff? Tarot cards and crystal balls? Crystal balls, yes, exactly! I'm trying to make a crystal ball that will show me where my brother is, and maybe even let me communicate with him. Neat, how can I help? Okay, well, all the fishmen in this region come from a single source, called the Fish Mother. She's sort of like a queen bee, you know? This one creature that laid all the fishmen eggs. Which is a little weird, actually, biologically speaking, because that indicates a dangerous lack of genetic diversity. What? See, honeybees avoid inbreeding through an extremely high rate of genetic recombination, but the fishmen don't have that advantage, so one would think inbreeding would... what? Uh, never mind. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. The important thing is, the fish mother is thought to have a sort of magical psychic link to all the fishmen. Psychic, gotcha. So what do you need? Well, legend has it that fish mothers occasionally make huge, beautiful pearls. How they make them is probably too gross to think about, but my working theory is, if it has the right kind of fish mother DNA in it, I might be able to reconfigure it to make my own psychic link. I haven't understood basically anything you've said, so that sounds perfectly reasonable. You need me to get one of those pearls? Yeah, the fish mother's lair is down by the river, but the entrance is a sort of organic valve. Ah, oh, jeez, it's a huge butthole, isn't it? I was gonna say cloaca, but yes, it's a huge butthole that keeps out anything that isn't related to the fish mother. So how do I get in? 
Yeah, I'm gonna like it. I already don't like it. I can s I can make a sort of disguise goop to cover you with. Swell, how much am I getting paid for this? I, um, don't actually have much meat left after setting up this lab, but maybe the fish mother's lair has some treasure in it. I mean, definitely. The fish mother's lair definitely has a whole lot of great treasures in it. Oh, sh Alright, fine, I guess. Great! In order to make the fish mother's disguise goop, I'm gonna need some fishman eggs. About three pounds of them, according to my calculations. But if the eggs are in the fish mother's lair... No, the regular fishmen carrying them around to keep an eye out on them. They have a bunch of little hideouts all over the sit campus in Ocean City. Or rather, all under, I should say, since they're mostly in the sewers. Well, this just keeps getting better and better. Here, you'll need one of these to open the manhole covers. The antiquated manhole opener. Modern sewers use a Class C manhole cover, but this tool doesn't work on those. This one is an old for old-fashioned b-holes. Okay, wish me luck. Let's see, a collectible collection of... Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Just a bookshelf full of strange signs and math books. Wow, these books are all way too advanced to me. Actually, there's one on there that's right up your alley. Third shelf, third from the left. You have the order of the book of your bookshelf memorized. I don't have to memorize it. I understand the principles by which I arrange things and I never deviate from them. Gotcha. You look at the third shelf and sure enough, the third book is eerily relevant to your interests. Space Times Rainbow. You have been meaning to read this one for a while, you just haven't gotten around to it. Grants the combat skill Reality Shift. Gain 3 armor against every element. Ah, sweet. Reality Shift, you can actually read... You read enough of the book to be able to pretend you re read it if anybody asks. You could actually read it, but that would be a lot of work. If you do, Reality Shift will add 2 additional armor to your every element. Sure. You read the entire book, from the first page to the last. You read every word and ev of every sentence, of every paragraph, of every chapter. Reality Shift has been upgraded. When you're done, you throw the book away, because now that you've really and truly read it, you never need to read it again, because you definitely already read it. Honest. One of these newfangled metal detectors. Hey Rufus, can I borrow your metal detector? Sure, if you have a good and specific reason for needing it. I need to find an old key so I can stop a little girl's house from burning down 230 odd years ago. That's good enough for me, knock yourself out. Sweet. So this is where that is, that was. Let's see, we'll ask Robot Battle Arena. We'll ask about it. What's the Robot Battle Arena door all about? That's my Robot Battle Arena. Why do you have a Robot Battle Arena? The fact that you even ask that question makes me think you've never, you'll never understand the answer. How many robots are in there? They're capable of self-assembly and replication, so it's hard to say. And it's also critical that you never accidentally leave the door open. Okay. Yeah, let's... I'm happy to briefly fight robots. Okay, first things first. 5 HP and remove the bleed. Truly, it is glorious. Let's see, physical armor, they are immune to bleeding and poison. Let's see, physical, 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 physical. So elemental armor does nothing against these people. Let's see, who do I want to kill? Yeah, let's just get rid of that particular robot. Get the healing going. And you can die too. Let's see, set junk throwing robot on fire. This will end something.
Let's see, Clarence flees the scene to repair himself. But it's okay. And take the stench damage, you bastard. You won, you successfully disassembled some of Rufus' self-assembling robots. Let's see, slab of heat resistant plating. Increase the target's hot armor by five. Let's see, a big pile composed of 80% garbage and... Let's see, moxie. How much moxie do I have and can we get more? Okay, we'll come back. A scientific vessel of some kind. What's this? A dwar- a dwell. What's a dwell? A container for fluids. What kind of fluids? Usually valuable scientific substance. Not that one, though. What's in this one? Absinthe? Um, can I have it? If you want. Sure. You carefully pick up the... Let's see, we got some absinthe to... Okay. We had set of mirrors. Alright. Leave. Machine looks dangerous. If the label is to believe, be believed, this is a crate of arcane hot plates. Can I have one of these hot plates? Sure, I've got plenty. And having access to that level of technology will increase the odds that you'll survive helping me. That's very kind of you. You grab one of the hot plates before he does some more math and changes his mind. Let's see, a portable convenience for Chief Ma Chef Magi who are bachel bachelors or have been in prison for forbidden sorcery. Cook from the comfort of your room. Alright, what am I currently using for... Let's see, food... Muscle and your mysticism myst and moxie... About... Let's see, do we have... Muscle and moxie... Yeah, let's go mysticism moxie. You nibble a corner of the samo samosa, and then you nibble another corner of it, and then one you think you're out of corners? Nope, there's a third, another one. Out of the third one, that's it. There are no more left. Let's see, find the following useful things. Chunk of lead, oil, 11 in 1 oil, a piece of scrap metal. We could potentially get more, but we don't have the moxie for it. Let's see, that one's sealed. Rat raves at you. Hey there, little fellow. The rat emits a few squeaks. What's shaking? The rat dashes into his hole and returns holding a small piece of cheese. He points at you, sweeps his arm broadly from left to right, then points at the cheese. He stares at you for a few seconds and eats the crumb. You want me to bring you some cheese? The rat nods and scurries around in a quick little circle. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Do we have... Oh, we are cheese wizard, right. You get... The rat looks at you with a hopeful expression on his tiny rat face. You got an item, conjured cheese. The rat sniffs the cheese and makes a few delighted squeaking noises. He drags the cheese into his hole and merges with a ring. The white hot ring. This will make you like King Midas, except with fire instead of gold. When you apply on fire, apply one extra. Thank you, Mr. Rat. Can we do this again, or... No. Not at this time, anyway. Laundry room. Reach out to mention. You stick your hand into the hole, grab the first thing your fingers brush against, and yank it back. Shadow maid. Let's see, this is what the anti-Vikings drank. Increases your meat drop by 40%. The shadow pocket vanishes with a pop. Steam power. This would dry your clothes way faster than boiling them. A trove of dangerous laundry chemicals. It's a steam-powered washing machine. No. The door is painted shut from this side. Laundry roof. Let's see. Barbecue wing mint access. A hot buzzing noise and a shower of sparks is our only reply. This terminal must be broken. Need a Muxie 6. Let's see. Might as well see. Go pay a visit to the fish people. Hang on. There's water here and you have a fishing rod. Surely things can be used together. You managed to reel something in. The nasty bag. 
continue fishing. Let's see. Elle du de toilet is a French idiom that in this case is being used as a literal f phrase. Let's see. You've caught an abandoned goldfish. Okay. The steamy Kevin. The radio is playing some classical music. There's no fishermen in this particular boil of boiling goo, pool of boiling goo, but there's a mass, mass of horrible wiggling, wiggling golfful sized eggs floating in it, like the world's biggest and most awful glass of bubble tea. Let's see, fish. You know what? We've got the hot armor. Grab them. Go exact the jiggly, squishy, foul smelling eggs. This fish man is doing his best impression of a crocodile. Well, let's find out. Fish! Let's see. Continue fishing. I'm not sure what that is, but whatever. Let's see. Scouted grassy, gassy fink, fink nozzle. Let's see. Poached pink berry. I've say we caught everything. These two fishmen are sharing a nasty soak. They're too relaxed to worry about you being here. This fishman is absolutely loving his bath in hot filth. Okay. Spider wing maintenance access. Huh, nothing. That this Athena has blown a fuse. We can replace it. The Athena trackle trackles to life. You're a thump on the door's eternal lock that disengages. The strange looking machine seems to be broken. Let's see, open it. Ooh, treasure. Sit biomant meat and necklace. Thanks to this, you'll never again suffer the agony of not knowing exactly what the ob the obedient air pressure is. The door is being shut from this side. Let's see. Attention! Access to the Hexrock Quarry is prohibited except with written permission from the Geology Department or a very good reason. Ah, I think... Wait a second, we've gone all the way around. Let's see, where... Yeah, we'll buy that because... Let's see. So, greenhouse we can't access. Can't do anything in here because there's not a whole lot we can do. Moxie. Do we have a potion for this? Potion. Stench armor. Increases your moxie by one. This will replace muscle. That is fine. Hot wire. Your nimble fin fingers bypass the broken circuits and trip the door lock. Let's see. A massive steam-powered freezer. It's probably full of mumbo jumbo shrimp and military intelligence. Am I right? Let's see. Ah, somebody left an ice cream scoop in here. This makes it easy to serve i to serve ice cream without mounting it, but hard to stop serving ice cream without losing a bunch of hand skin. Deals your Mr. Sissy plus cold damage. Someone has leaned a book against the wall. Short stories of long winters. Let's see. Do 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 do. Grants an upgradable skill. I chose not to be cold. Gives hot armor. Read. The book is a collection of stories about men who defy all wisdom and warnings to go hiking alone in the Sub-Zero West. At the end of each story, the man dies. Maybe there's a lesson in that. Find it. In each story, the protagonist succumbs to Sub-Zero conditions and perishes. At the end, the narrator opines that if it were them, they simply would not have gone anywhere without his cold. They would have gone somewhere warm and thrived. Let's see, the I choose not to be cold. Some brief people brace icy wastes and biting winds, and others look at those people and say, it could not be me. There's hundreds of these stories. They're all like this. We're going to potentially upgrade it. Hang on. Gear. Let's see, we're currently with the... 
Mysticism plus hot. We will upgrade to the weapon thing, because, let's see, chunk of lead increases the damage of the weapon by one. Yep. Makes it heftier. Let's see. Do, 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 do. This is also... Let's see, no, we don't want to use our moxie to determine damage. See any other sharpening style? Bonus damage to the weapon. Let's see, sharpened, hefty, frigid ice cream cone. Let's see, I believe there was something else. No, they wouldn't handle. Ah, uh, makes it into a melee weapon, which your muscle determine its damage. Nope, we're pretty good with what we got. Door is painted shut from this side. Let's see what's upstairs. Steam tunnel. The sign above the hatch reads steam tunnel access. Protective gear recommended, but not provided. Oh, steam tunnel access. Hooray. Finer snouts. You have never been less interested in the contents of a vending machine. The Scopus Dublin is concentrating on their uh, cooking. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are so hooked up with culinary science, aren't we? Let's see. Axe is limited to students and facility. Oh. No, no, it wasn't that one, was it? Let's see. The spell notice. You, they spell notice is wrong, but they're. But they were hoping nobody would notice. Hey, there's a flyer for a local diner. Might be worth checking out. Fizz Ed. Can I go in? Access to this doorway is limited to students. Yep, that's me. Authorization granted. Thank you. Hey, a coach. Excuse me. You pick Fizz Ed as your elective, right? Well, that means you've joined the sit food fight team. The rest of us got here first and called nodded, so you get to be the coach. Oh, well, okay, what's the catch? The catch is we get course credits regardless, but you only get credit if you win the season's big game against our cursed rivals, no, no, Red Hurleywoods. So well. Let's see. Is that the... The biggest trophy in the shelf is labeled Glorda Haggis, Zeta Omega Omicron, and also, weirdly, has a little plaque on it with a map to, to that particular frat house. The mirror is only for uniform checking. Who are we up against? In round one, you'll be facing off against the Windminster launch tosses. Their roster is Theodore the Tomato Tank, Wanda the Wheat Witch, Floris the Fig Flinger, Bernice the Banana Behemoth, and Charles the Cherry Chucker. Not to battle yet. What have we got? Bob, Bob is mu muttering to himself with his eyes closed. Let's see. Try this. Whatever you say, coach. Bob cracks open the can and guzzles the syrup. Bob's attack power has been increased by five. Okay. Alice. Alice is fidgeting with an avocado. She seems nervous. Give her a high five and leave. Charlie. Pat him on the back. David. Pat him on the back and leave. Pat him on the back and leave. Alright, let's see what this to battle. Let's see. Alright, we seem to be winning. Restorative sprinkles. Oh, 
Come on, boys and girls, you got this. There's only a few of them left. Alright, I think we've won this. We have. You won, you advanced to round two. Who are we up against next? Let's see, do, do, do. at least one of the players looks pretty, your players looks pretty sad. Maybe you should go give them a little encouragement for the next match. And vice coach, and let me think. Feel pride, healing power increase, become immune to poison. Lick donuts first, healing also heals self. Try this, thanks. All right, we got a few people. Any advice, coach? Let's see, work on your biceps, add some oil. Let's see. Try this. Yep, if we can get them on fire. I feel good about the last match. Give them a high five, yep. Any advice? Let me think. Stronger buffs, always buff Bob first. Buffs weaken random enemy. Use spices. Let's see what we got. To battle. Yeah, I'm kind of happy that I made our, that particular healer heal himself whenever he heals someone else. Okay, one down. Yeah, the fire got him. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this one. Nope. You lost, but you can ask for a rematch. You should go give some pep talks to the team in the meantime. Any advice? Let's see, let me think. Thick jacket, gain on fire immunity. Try this. On fire immunity. Any advice? Add salt, drink some coffee, one big bla plus one big blast. Yep. Any advice? Let me think. Increase damage, regen health every round. On fire heals you. Let's give you some regen for every round. Let me think. Attacks cause poison. Increased health, become immune to poison. Attacks cause poison. Let me think. Buff also buffs herself. One extra big buff per game. Come immune to bleeding. Yeah, we'll give... Let's try this again. We gave her one extra big buff per game. Hopefully it will help. Well, they definitely just targeted Alice. Restorative sparkles, wrinkles, sorry. Alright, I think we've 
I think we can hold it together. Right, it's just the oatmeal ogre. We got him. Victory is ours! You won, advanced round three. Let's see, who are we up against? Let's see, Michael, the mayonnaise magus, garlic giant, ham hurler, do 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 do. Let's see, any advice? Flex your elbows, increase. Do 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 do. Let's get you acting earlier. Think you're fine. Any advice? Wear boots, increased HP, buffs weaken random enemy, buffs also buff herself. Yeah. Buffs buff herself. To battle. Okay, this is looking good. Admittedly, the giant is a lot more tanky than we would like, but it is what it is. And he's gone anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just please do these two. Timothy the Tomato Tank. And Harvey the Ham Hurler. Harvey's gone. Leaves the Tomato Tank. He's gone. Victory is ours again. Advance to round four. Let's see, I believe, yes. We need to talk to you. See, so become immune to bleeding, always buff blub first. Give her some more HP, see if that helps her. Let's see, you're facing off against the Ava Adova Banquet Ruiners. See what we got. Let's see, keep Bob alive. So you're gone, good. Almost got another one. Wait, no, we lost one. Shit. This could be bad. Okay, you're eliminated, that's a good start, but this isn't good. Yeah, we're not winning this one. In fairness, we tried. No one can say we didn't. Alright, pep talk to the team. Let's see. One damage each round. Always target's weakest enemy. You know what? Let's go with the weakest. Because killing the weakest would probably... Anything eliminated is good. Put on a thick hat? Try... Yeah, let's put on a thick hat. Give him some more HP. Let's see. Attacks cause on fire. Create HP. Yeah, on fire. Let's try that. Any advice? Heal twice more per game. Damage versus poison. Attacks twice per round. Have some coffee. Any advice? Always buff Bob first. Extra buff per game. Attacks mu cause much bleeding. Let's go with try giving Bob a boost first. Because Bob 
doing yeah area of effect damage is effective and he's gone yeah so because he's buffed we now do a few more of those hits do another one eliminated she's gone good it's amazing just how much focusing fire check switches things up Queen sleep. Love it. Let's see, anyone sad? Possibly you? Nope. No, be good. That was weird. In round five, you'll be facing the. Yep, the last ones. Let's see. Pull the. Pi yes, these are the ones we're after. Pauline the Pistachio Polter. Sarah the Salad Slinger. Fred the Fig Flinger. Theodore the Twin Tortilla Titan, Timothy the Other Twin Tortilla Titan. Let's see, we eliminated one of the Titans. Okay, these guys do not mess around with far, as far as damage is concerned. And we lost our assassin. Though they've just lost most of their team, so... God damn. Damn, we might just win this stupid thing, just... Through a ridiculous amount of... God damn, victory is ours. Congratulations, you beat your hated rivals, the Navid Hollywoods, and win the converted Boy Yadid Trophy. The local food fight commissioner comes over, shakes your hand, and signs your transcript. He mentions that you can keep playing in postseason matchups if you want, but you've earned your course credit. You've completed your electri electrative. Your team surrounds you, beating with pride. They shout three cheers and dump a huge bucket of pork gravy over your head. Nice. So. Let's see. Okay, so basically these guys again, but just in a, under a different team. Well, we got the elective done, so hooray. Let's see, and that I believe leaves us with... Where are you? Right, the Hexrock Mines. Yeah, we'll leave it unlocked, why not? Let's see... That seems too important to mess with. Now how the hell did we get in here? Oh. Haven't found it yet. Haven't found it yet. Sorry, the medkits are all pretty cleaned out. Yeah, all that stuff gets used up over the course of the semester. Guess the TAs haven't got around to restocking yet. That's both annoying and unsurprising. I'll keep looking. I'd appreciate it. Didn't bring either a book or a sandwich, so there's a hard limit to my ability to sit here. Keep your eyes peeled for rooms that you haven't explored yet. The entrances can be pr tricky to spot sometimes. If you aren't paying attention. Okay, we'll be on it. Actually, we will... I guess we will leave it here for now. Until next time, my name is Bright Ops, and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.